Boston City Councilor Kendra Lara faced several charges today in connection to with a crash she was in last month in Jamaica Plain. Police say Lara was driving twice the speed limit without a license and with her son in unsecured in the car when she crashed into a home. Tonight, as WBZ's Beth Germano shows us, Lara says she has no plans to step back from her role as city councilor. Surrounded by supporters, City Councilor Kendra Lara headed into court to face multiple charges of reckless driving, saying she wants to be held accountable. I want to say that there are often circumstances that prevent good people from checking off all of their boxes and that sometimes manifest itself as things like unpaid fines. But the charges run deeper than that after police say she crashed into this Jamaica Plain front yard June 30th, driving an unregistered car with a revoked license and her seven year old not in a secure booster seat. Police calculate it was twice the 25 mile an hour speed limit. Using the minimum speed of 53 miles an hour, she would have needed 151 feet to come to a full and complete stop. Based on that, I uh, summons the defendant bar with reckless operation of motor vehicle speeding. She claims another driver who denies her version was pulling out into the street and she had to swerve to avoid him. As for her driving record, her attorney says nothing has been proven. That's a thing that a court decides and a jury decides, not you or me. The homeowner whose property was heavily damaged in the crash says Lara has not yet taken responsibility. And no acknowledgement on her part of her actions, no contact, no indication of remorse. This afternoon, she was back at City Hall for the weekly council hearing and hoping voters would continue to support her. I understand intimately the challenges that my constituents are struggling with. And the struggle seems to be real. She should resign. She should, it, it, we shouldn't even have to waste our time voting, you know, whether she keeps a job or not. I would. I feel like she's been a great voice uh, for people, especially underserved populations. I'd have to hear her side of the story, which I haven't. In fact, she wouldn't specifically answer questions about the eight charges against her, but now she's been ordered not to drive without a valid license. In Jamaica Plain, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Well, tonight